During the summer of 1910, two Dominican sisters from Adrian, Michigan, arrived at Our Lady of Good Counsel Parish and established our first Catholic school program. Eight students made up the first graduating class in 1912. In 1925, the School Sisters of St. Francis took over and are with us to this very day. Over the next 40 years, school enrollment grew rapidly. There were 700 students in 1962. In 1963, the parish built a new school building, which we still occupy today. During the 1970s, parishioners became more deeply involved in the school, and some OLGC graduates have been on the staff now for over four decades. In the late 1900s, the school population declined, but over the past 10 years, our school program has reached a broader and more diverse community, and enrollment is steadily climbing again. Many families have recognized that a faith-filled Catholic education is worth the sacrifice of expense and travel. With over 100 years of history, we can look back with admiration, but we confidently look forward to an equally bright and loving future here at OLGC. Why is it so important that uh, parents seriously consider sending their kids to our Catholic grade school here at Our Lady Good Council? First and foremost, because our children are going to get a depth formation in the values of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're going to learn and grow in their faith as never before. Um, it's a sacrifice. And the academic, the academic growth and development of our kids is far above any other. Being an educator myself in the area at a Catholic school, I realize how important it is to have somebody leading a school who has a strong passion and who has a vision and um, who is there for the kids and to do what's best for kids. And Mick Swanson is all those things. Hello, my name is Mick Swanson. I'm the principal here at Our Lady Good Council School in Aurora, Illinois. It is our mission to provide a loving and nurturing environment wherein all students may grow in faith, wisdom, and knowledge. My philosophy of Catholic education is one wherein we educate the entire person. The, the, the entire child. Um, we, we educate them not only in, in a strictly humanist perspective dealing with uh, you know, rigorous academics, but we also uh, we educate them spiritually um, with the goal of not only being successful uh, in this world and living a life of service of others, but also um, for the ultimate goal of attaining salvation. We can give the children more individualized attention. We're a kind of a smaller community atmosphere the children here are not just numbers. They're they're people. We know their families. We, uh, you know, we know their their individual needs. I teach here at OLGC because I went to school here and I had such a great experience here. And my wish was always to be able to come back here and give back some of what I received when I was here. And I always taught in the public schools. And when I walked into Our Lady of Good Counsel, and I realized that God would be the true leader of this school and he would be involved in everything that I, I did and, and the, the guidance to help me help the children. And so I knew that this is where I wanted to be, to be at. When I would be at Our Lady of Good Counsel, it always gave me a pretty warm feeling with working with the other members of the staff as well as the students. I just thought they were really tremendous. It's a decision that I never will regret because I really appreciate the, the feeling that I get by being at this school. Uh, we always try to bring out, um, whenever they're amazed at something or they see something that they've not seen before or that strikes them, I always try to point out to them how wonderful God's world is and how thankful we should be. I integrate Catholic values into my curriculum throughout the day um, in every subject. Uh, one of the things we talk about the most in our classroom is how God doesn't make any mistakes and He created all of us and we all have gifts. We start off our day with a prayer and the students offer their prayer intentions so we pray together for things that are really on our hearts. Um, throughout the day I try to teach the students with respect. I also try to encourage them to te treat each other with respect. Well we really like the, the small feel of the school, the parental involvement, great academics and um, just people that really care about our kids, that want the best for them and 
look out for them and prepare them for, for high school and beyond. God is just part of every single moment of every single day, and he is center of the education and of our children's lives, just like he is at our home. We wanted a school that um, would focus on the needs, the particular needs of each one of our students because they're not all at the same level. Uh, Nick is the fourth generation. Um, he came here, his father went here, and his grandma went here. So it was certain for us that our children would attend at OLGC. Family. You know, the kids are family here. She, she was diagnosed with diabetes when she was um, in first grade. And if she wasn't here, I don't, I don't think we would have, you know, made it. She was here, it was family, everybody took care of her. Um, I had no worries. Our, our kids do so well academically. and We see the, the standardized test results and we're very encouraged by that. Uh, we meet with the teachers all the time. They're very accessible. They truly care about the kids. My expectations for education are very high, but now that I've been in, in the school for one year, I realize that the expectations of education here, Our Lady of the Council, are even higher of what I have, and I like that. For us, it, it doesn't matter how much it costs. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a sacrifice we're willing to make for our children because, honestly, the education is top-notch. And we live in what is known as a relatively decent school district. But for us, the Catholic education is far and beyond what we know our kids will get, even in a decent school district. I feel like with a lot of the kids, and it's the same with the other parents, like we treat them as if they're our own because we love them and they love us. And it's, it's an amazing place. It's a parish filled with real people. Real people, you know, it's not overly concerned with, you know, people who aren't overly concerned with money and, you know, people, just real people, you know, people who have a lot of different ups and downs and um, there's a lot of diversity in our parish and um, I think just the people here make this place special. Our faith is very important and the fact that our children can get um, and grow within their faith is priceless. And I think it's very uh, realistic too with the uh, makeup of the student body, with uh, having the uh, ethnicity that we have reflects what's the uh, population out there also. So it's, uh, it exposes the kids to uh, the real world. There's a lot of great opportunities here at OGC for sports. Uh, we, have a, we have a very good program. We're very competitive in sports. Um, but number one, Jesus Christ has to be part of the football field and the, ba and the, and the basketball court. We offer football, 5th uh, and 6th grade plays in a team, and 7th and 8th grade plays in a team. We offer volleyball for the girls, 5th um, grade, 6th grade, 7th and 8th. We also offer basketball for boys and girls, and track for boys and girls, and then we also offer cheerleading for just the 8th grade girls. Now, one of the great things about OLGC is, um, that I try to focus on is that sports is a great teacher of life's lessons. It's important to me that our kids are not just good sports, but understand that uh, life's lessons as well as the lessons of a Christian. I think the most memorable OLGC moment was coming into sixth grade, going into junior high, to meet the new teachers, that new scary aspect that maybe the kids would be more judging, all those things, and being surprised that the family environment was still there. We grew deeper and closer together as friends, as a community. I have a lot of good memories at OLGC. Um, my favorite would have to be being in eighth grade and being a cheerleader when my squad won first place at our competition. Uh, my favorite memory of OLGC was uh, the seventh grade play. We did the Wizard of Oz. Um, I played the wizard. It was a great experience because we got the entire school together, uh, different grade levels, and which is really great because you can't do that during sports. One of my favorite would have to be the 8th grade class trip. At the end of the year, we go to Wisconsin and we go to House on the Rock and Cave of the Mounds. And we take a charter bus up there and you're gone all day. And it was a lot of fun just getting with all your friends and stuff. And it was one of the last times that we were all together because it was really close to the end of the year. OLGC, I think, definitely plays a huge part in looking back um, into my preparation for Rosary. I think Rosary has a very rigorous academic schedule. You know, we're 
We have college preparatory classes, AP classes, college credit classes, you name it, we have all that there. And I think definitely the basis from OLGC brought me there. Uh, I felt pretty prepared coming into Marmion from OLGC because um, the first couple of quarters uh, I was doing pretty well on tests and papers, which uh, OLGC prepared me for, whereas other people coming in first couple of quarters, they weren't doing so well. Well, OLGC helped me really prepare for Aurora Central. I felt really prepared and knew what I was going into. Um, one of the things, I learned how to outline in junior high, and I needed that in a lot of my classes, and I could do it really quick. What I like most at OLGC is that all the nice people I get to meet every day for five days. We get to play outside with Mr. Swanson. And I get to play football outside every day. When we go to church, you, every homily is different, and you get to learn a few, a different thing every week. Uh, here at OGC School, the thing I like the most is having made new friends. Last year was my first year, and so far I've been uh, doing good with making friends. Um, what I like best about OGC is the classes like aren't so big, so you get you're really close to all your friends. Here at OLGC School, we are committed to offering every child a quality, faith-filled education that will prepare them for their future as well-rounded people of God. As you've heard from so many of our parents and students, when you come to our school, you become part of our family. From our family to yours, we thank you for visiting Our Lady of Good Counsel School. Yeah!